to Art Appreciation Online, Art B1 at Bakersfield College. I'm Penelope Young. Um, we are 70643, you can see right here. And we have 144 students in this class, which is kind of exciting. It's the first time I'm going quite this large. I've had 124, um, but we're a big class. So this is our home page right here. Now, home page is the same as modules. If you see that, it'll click, it'll be the same thing. I use the modules page as the home page. Also, if you click the course number, you're going to come to the same place. So this, this, and this, oh, sorry, also home, are all going to be the same thing. You won't have access to, I know you can see it on my screen, but you won't see it on yours, to assignments, quizzes, and files. Um, this is just so that you do the work in order. It's already placed in these modules. So if we go to week one, you can see what is prepared there for you to look at. Okay. And each one of these uh, week one assignment and breakdown and points is going to explain to you what's going on in that week. And obviously I have some work to do. I need to clean these up a little bit. But it'll give you a sense of how many points are total that week, 40. Uh, the quiz on <clears throat> the introduction, introductory chapter, which I will give you the PowerPoint, same as this audio uh, PowerPoint, and you have access to this with the link, uh, the 20 day, 21 day free access to uh, the book. So there's no reason not to take it. The first thing you're going to do though is the syllabus quiz, and that is going to be, actually, I'm going to hit next, I'm going to do it this way. The syllabus quiz, <clears throat> here's our intro, there's a picture of me, and I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself. And then the syllabus quiz here, you're going to have to take this before you get on to anything else. The other work um, is easier, it's multiple choice and so on, and um, you have three attempts. But this quiz, and you can see I still have the old one in here, I have to put in the fall of 18. But this quiz is going to be an upload. You can download it, <clears throat> mark it, you know, meaning write in the answers, and then upload it again, or you can use PDF software. So you have a two, you have two different choices here on number three. So if you fail to take this, you may be dropped from the course because you really do need to know how to take not only an online course and um, requirements for the computer and so on have recently changed, and I emailed that out to you guys, but I'll go over that again. Um, <clears throat> what the Canvas guides, syllabus guides, netiquette, essay guides, plagiarism, all that stuff. You're going to need to know that for this course. Okay, It's really important that you know how to operate in the course and how I grade and all that stuff before you proceed. Okay, So that's 25 points and you're only going to be able to upload these three file types. It tells you that right now. Okay, It's a file upload. You have three choices. All right, let's go back to the home page. The information for the syllabus quiz is going to be in this B1 Fall Learning Tools. You're going to have to watch the video that I'm making right now, this <clears throat> me talking, and that's right here. You'll have to do that first before you do the syllabus quiz. The syllabus itself is here, and then it's also here. Um, when you view it in this, this is just a PDF, and then it's all which you can download if you wish. And then it's everything else cut and pasted in here. And some of the formatting isn't perfect. You'll see this is a little wonky in here. But you can download it and the format will be good. Or you can go to syllabus over here and you can look it through, <clears throat> look it over. What's really nice, one thing that Canvas does, it automatically takes the dates that I have um, for the course and it puts them at the bottom here. Okay? So this gives you a cleaner, simplified with links, um, like I can just click on that and go to chapter 1.1 quiz, and it gives you the due date and time here. Um, it's broken down. This is old school. This is the way you do a printed um, syllabus. You, you, you know, put the dates. You've seen this kind of thing before. But I do both just so that you have it uh, if you want to print it out. This, though, will give you all the due dates. Now, notice on Wednesday, um, you will have the final essay due <clears throat> and the final multiple choice. 
Everything else is due on a Friday. This is, oh, sorry, this last week. This is our last week of the course. Also, the extra credit, if you volunteer with Bakersfield Museum, is due that Monday. Bunch of extra credit due on Friday, November 30th. That's your absolute last day for all extra credit except for the uh, BMOA and the final, okay? All right, so that's that information. If you go over here, the other way to view um, the calendar, you can either click on this or see where I am over here. This is your first menu bar, calendar. And this is really nice. Um, you have all the assignments listed for that date. Okay, and there's one other thing we're going to do. So you can do it by week, which I don't like as well because I feel like it's not, see how it's not really that great. I would do it by month. And then you can see what's coming up. Okay, due dates do not change. You absolutely have to uh, follow the due dates. I give you five extra minutes. It's really 11. But just in case your <clears throat> up here your clock didn't quite, um, you know, reload or give you the right date, I just give you five extra minutes there. Okay, so that's calendar. The other thing you're going to do is go to account. So here's my picture. Love it if you put your picture on there. That's always nice. Then you're going to go to notifications. Notification preferences. Give us a second. It'll load. And you're going to... Um, ask for a weekly, daily, uh, no, right away summary as you choose, but you're definitely going to do due dates and you're going to do <clears throat> announcements. These I'm going to require due dates and announcements. And then I would suggest you do the grading because then you'll know when you got your grade and then you'll get, um, your comments. Actually, I think you got to do your comments down here, uh, on the submission comment. So discussions, if you wish to do any of these other ones, you can do these, um, but you don't need to. But I'm going to require due date, announcement, and, um, sorry, grading. So there's some options here. You can do it uh, to your email or to your cell number. I have it to my email. To me, that's a lot easier, but you can have it texted to yourself if you wish. This is really going to help you be aware of due dates. Now, it's almost always Friday at 11 p.m., pretty much 90% of the time except for the final. So you don't really have to do that, but I know how it is. Students get confused and, you know, time flies. So make sure that you have your notifications set. There's some other things you can do here with your profile if you wish. That's information on me. i got to change that because I am not going to go tell... 3 p.m. because I'm teaching a live course so it's only going to be I think till actually I think it's like noon your time because I think it's going to be <clears throat> my class is uh, going to start at noon. All right so you're going to email me if you email me by on Friday and the due dates are Friday at 11 p.m. If you email me at 10 p.m. with a question about the assignment I'm not going to email you till Monday. And I'm not going to extend the due date for you because you had a question. So make sure you email me earlier, 48, turn, 48 hour turnaround time. So I'm not customer service. I'm not tech support. And I try to make that as clear as possible because um, a lot of students think that I'm online 24-7 even though I'm a human being like everybody else. So um, make sure you're aware of the times that I'm available. And that is on the syllabus also right here. And I have a phone number too. Same thing. I probably won't answer because I teach live courses. And also, you know, I might be in a course myself. I do sometimes take courses. So you will get voicemail and then I will call you back probably a day or two later. Okay? Probably not the same day. It doesn't happen very often. Depending. Okay? So that's my contact information. I will not... Uh, email you until Monday morning from Friday. So I take the weekend to grade. I'm also teaching an all-day Saturday class. So there's no emails, there's no contact on the weekends, period. Okay, so that's the end of video one. We'll do another one.